Today my topic is How many times the word Shia comes in the Quran? The term Shia means the follower can be found in the Holy Quran and this has been given to the follower of Al Al Bayt. Since a follower Shia obeys and is guided by someone out to find out in the to whom to follow. The Quran says that on the day of judgment people will come in groups followers of someone and each group has its own leader guide in front of it. This is from Al Safat, which is chapter 37, ayah number 83, which said, And most surely Ibrahim followed his way. Auzubillahi min ash-shaytu ar-rajim, bismillahi ar-rahman ar-rahim, aur unhi ke pairo mein Ibrahim the. This is a verse in which Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam said himself as a Shia, as he is the first Muslim who said Shia, of the, that is the follower of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As said in verse 83, those who follow the same creed are called Shias. And this has become a term to distinguish those who follow Imam Ali salam. The Holy Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, O Ali, you and your Shias on the day of resurrection will be surrounded by light, honored, and successful. This is from Al-Qasas, which is chapter 28, ayah number 15. And he went to the city at a time of unvigilance on the part of its people, so he found therein two men fighting, one being of his party and the other of his foes. And he was, who was of his party cried out to him for help against him, who was of, one of his enemies. So Musa struck him with his fist and killed him. He said, This is on account of the shaitan's doing. Surely he is an enemy openly leading astray. Uh, in this verse, uh, Musa's party has been called as the Shia. Uh, uh, this is Surah Al-Qasas. Auzu Billahi Minash Shaitu Arajim Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Aur woh aise waqt shahir mein daakhil huye ke maha ke baashindhe bhe khabar ho rahe te to dekha ke maha do shakhs lad rahe te ek to Musa ki qawm ka hai aur dousra unke dushmanon mein se tha to jo shakhs unke qawm mein se tha usne dousre shakhs ko ke mukabale mein jo Musa alayhi salam ke dushmanon mein tha madad talab ki to unhon ne usko mukka maara aur uska kaam tamam kar diya kehne lage ye kaam to shaitan se hua beshak woh insaan ka dushman aur sahi behkane wala hai Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again uses the term Shia for Prophet Musa's followers against Prophet Musa's enemy. You can see for yourself that the Quran calls Prophet Musa's groups the Shia of Musa and the other group enemy of Musa. The Quran further states that the people during the incident were either the Shia or the enemy of Prophet Musa. The term Shia is therefore an honorary title given by Allah in the Quran to his high linking prophets as well as their followers. One of the greatest Sunni scholar, namely Feroz Abadi, in his Qamusul uh, Logat says, the name Shia commonly means every person who is a friend of Ali, Imam Ali alayhi salam, and his El al This uh, name is peculiar to them. The first individual who uses this term was the Holy Prophet sallam, himself when he said, Glad tiding, O Ali, verily you and your companions and your Shia will be in paradise. And these are the Sunni sources. This is Al-Anam, which is chapter 6, ayah number 159, which says, Surely they who divided their religion into parts became sects, and you have no concern with them. Their affair is only with Allah. Then he will inform them of what he did. عزو باللہ میں نے شہید وانا جی بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم جن لوگوں نے اپنے دین میں بہت سے رستے نکالے اور کئی فرقے ہو گئے ان سے تم کو کچھ کام نہیں ان کا کام خدا کے حوالے پھر جو کچھ وہ کرتے رہے ہیں وہ ان کو سب بتائے گا اکورڈنگ ٹو امام محمد الباقر علیہ السلام this verse is in continuation of verse 154 those who abandoned the path shown by the holy prophet محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم through حدیث السقلین and his final announcement at غدیر خوم in fact, sowed the seeds of discords and sectarianism in Islam. Otherwise, the directions given by the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were clear. My Ahl al are like the Ark of Nuh uh, alayhi salam. Whoso gets into it is saved and whoso stays away is drowned and lost, said the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said, out of the 71 sects, out of the followers of Musa, only one was on the right path. 
The followers of Isa also divided the religion into 72 sects, out of which only one was on the right path. Likewise, there will be 73 sects among my followers, out of which only one will be on the right path. The, the followers, followers of true Islam had to hold, hold fast to the Quran, and the Imams of the Elevate had been directed by the Holy Prophet This is from Allah Nam, which is uh, chapter 6, ayah number 65, which says, Say, he has the power that he should send on you a chastisement, or punishment, from above you or from beneath your feet, or that he should throw you into confusion, making you of different parties, and some of you taste the fighting of others. See how we repeat the communications that they may understand. So these are over here the series of the ayats which I took uh, like from Surah Al-Anam uh, chapter 6 verse 65 that the time uh, the Shia word is used in Quran. Similarly, uh, this is its translation and there is another uh, Surah al rom chapter 30 verse 31 and 32. The word Shia has been used here and it has its translation which says turning to him and be careful of your duty to him and keep up your prayer and not to be one of the polytheists which are people with more than one god or people who think they, there's more than one god item number 32 of those who divided their religion and became seas of every sect rejoicing in what they had with them Similarly, this is the translation of Surah al rom which is 31 and 32. And uh, uh, this is the other Surah, which is, uh, which is from Surah al maryam chapter 19 and verses 69. Chapter 19, verse 69, which says, Then we will most certainly draw forth from every sect of them him who is most exuberantly rebellious against the beneficent Allah. Uh, پھر ہر جماعت سے ہم ایسے لوگوں کو کھیش نکالیں گے جو خدا سے سخت سرکش تھے ان سورہ مریم ورس 69 the ring leaders of the rebels, deviators, hypocrites and disbelievers whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best will be thrown into the lowest depth of hell to suffer the greatest degree of torment this is from Al-Qasas which is chapter 28 ayah number 4 which says Surely Pharaoh exalted himself in the land and made its people into parties, weakening one party from among them. He slaughtered their sons and let their women live. Surely he was one of the mischief makers. Auzubillahimine shaitwan rajim, bismillahirrahmanirrahim, rahim ke Pharaoh ne mulk mein se sar utha rakha tha aur vahaan ke paashindho ko giro giro bana rakha tha. Like the word giro or the groups have been translated as shias from the ayat. In में से एक गुरु को यहां तक कमजोर कर दिया था कि उनके बेटों को जिबा कर डालता और उनकी लड़कियों को जिंदा रहने देता बेशक वो मुफसिदों में से था When the following verse of the Holy Quran was revealed as for those who believe and do good surely they are the best of men their reward is with their lord is gardens of perpetuity beneath which rivers flow abiding therein forever Allah is well pleased with them and they are well pleased with him that is for him who fears his Lord. This is from chapter 9, ayah number 7 through 8. The Holy Prophet وسلم, addressing Imam Ali Islam, said, O Ali, the best of creatures, Khair al in this holy verse refers to you and your followers, Shia. On the day of resurrection, you and your Shia shall attain such a position that Allah will be pleased with you and you will be pleased with him. Also, Mir Sayyid al Hamdani, Shafi, one of the eminent Sunni scholar, in his um, Mawaddatul Qurba and the well known anti Shia scholar Ibn Hajar, in his Sawahiq e Muharriqa, narrates from Ummul Mumineen, uh, Umm Salma, ta'ala anha, the wife of the Prophet Muhammad, wasallam, that Holy Prophet Muhammad wasallam, said, O Ali, and your Shias will abide in paradise. You and your Shias will abide in paradise. Now since, now, the, since Holy the Holy Prophet وسلم, himself said it, we know it was Allah who said it. This is due to the following Quranic verse. Nor does he speak out of desire. It is not but revelation that is revealed, which is from chapter 53, ayah number 3 to 4. 
The term Shia, which means follower, can be found in the Holy Quran and this term has been given to the followers of Al Al Bayt by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. More on that in Abit. The Holy Prophet ﷺ has said the following, My Ummah will be divided into 73 sects. All of them will be in the fire except for one. Please visit kanizirazah.weebly.com for more information.